We have a question from Eric. Almost a month ago, I asked you about combining the humane burpee with pressing. You recommended in podcast 81 that I just do the humane burpee as it's written. I know. Weird. I actually do something I said the way I said it versus all these. Dan, you know, I want to do that Olympic lifting program, but I don't have any weights, which I do. I don't know. Dan, I don't, I want to do a, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do all these things. Uh, I want to thank you immensely for the suggestion. You are very welcome. My wife and I are very short on sleep due to our son going through the, the four-month sleep regression. God bless you, Eric. And doing the humane burpee has become about the only consistent form of training that I can do. Well, that's good. I wish I'd have known that when I had my babies. Again, thank you for the suggestion. Just doing the humane burpee led me down the rabbit hole of pretty good workouts and eventually led me to the Dan Martin program minimum. I wondered if you could share some of your thoughts on the DMPM, Dan Martin Program Minimum, and doing workouts that are good enough or simply pretty good. Well, this comes from the great, the great wise man from uh, East Bay, California, Dan Martin, who is not only a dear friend, but a very, very smart man. Uh, he was very good friends with the, the Raiders. He knows everybody who knows, he knows everybody. And, you know, because of his years as a firefighter and powerlifter and some other things, contact sports, you know, he woke up one day and he said, I can't live like this, like many of us do. And he is one of the few people to completely buy in to one of my big beliefs of, okay, if you can't do all this, what can you do? And let's do that every day. So the, the program, the, the Dan Martin program minimum kind of varies, but if there was a foundational thing, it would be walking. And then from there, it would be like reasonable goblet squats, reasonable push-ups, reasonable swings, uh, Turkish get-ups without load, uh, certain stretches. Whatever feels good, you do it. Um, the, on the DaveDraper.com forum, if you go to the Dan John Q&A, you'll find a whole section dedicated to it in the in the it's a sticky note on the questions uh, i i think is brilliant um you know if if you want to make great progress you know uh give up your ex whatever your ex is you know that's a great insight from erica um for her it was red wine for me it was alcohol um whatever the thing is that makes you fat you know whatever that is get your sleep do the stretches that you know you need. Do the mobility work that you know you need. And then pick, uh, walk, uh, do some basic stuff, and try to end every workout finishing better than when you started. For more reference, uh, join the, the Dan John Q&A forum at uh, uh, DaveDraver.com and ask, ask the master himself, Mr. Dan Martin. And if you don't do that, just trust me, it's brilliant. Thank you. And what a great question and what a blessing it is to have your little one.